Salamanca Market is one of my favourite places in the world, Richo, and today I'm taking you there with this scallop pie. Hobart, Tasmania. A lot of my family are there, so a big hello to a lot of my family that are down there. I have a big secret to share with you, Richo. I was born in Hobart. It's not a secret anymore. It's not Hobart, a secret. Really? Yes, I knew you'd be surprised. Whilst you're, whilst you're going through your shock and it's all sinking in, could you please dice the potato and carrot for me? But yes, I'm a Tasmanian baby. Tasmania is one of the most beautiful places in the world and if you haven't been there and visited that place in Australia, you're missing out. If you've had this pie before, Richo, you know that Salamanca Market is absolutely famous for it. And did you know that those pies are now being spread all around Australia? So there's gourmet delis that you can buy, but nothing beats walking along the Salamanca place, yes. chewing on a pie. So we've done a lot of chopping here. Maybe yes. that's why you got me around, to chop all these vegetables. I did. That's why Richo was invited today. <laughs> Beautiful. You've done a wonderful job, though, but I'm going to bring this up. Because the plan here, Richo, is with all these beautifully diced things, is we're going to roast them in the oven oh. to soften them and get the sweetness out of the carrot. You could toss them in a pan, but I, I agree, roasting them in the oven is a great way to get some flavour into and it. And to get some sweetness out from the carrot, I think. So lots of rainbows in this. You've got the carrot, you've got the potato. I put some celery in as well and peas. Oh, this has only got two colours. There's more colours coming, Richo. Oh, OK, all right, I like Gosh, it. Gosh, he's getting in on the rainbow competition, people. Bit of pepper, please, Richo. I can do that. Tip it on top. Beautiful. So that's going to go in the oven for about 25 minutes, get a little bit golden and softened, and then we're going to put this pie together. <music> Wonderful. They're softened. And Richo's eating all the pie filling, so there'll be no veggies left. Okay. Wonderful. Could you please dice that for me, Richo? Okay. And we're going to move on to our filling, which is packed with veggies, which is why I love it. And scallops. And scallops. But here's the key to the scallops. You must pat them dry. Can you explain why, Richo? Because there's a lot of water in the scallops, so you want to pat them dry so there's no water going into the pie. Yes. So it stays nice and uh, moist, but not too much liquid coming out of this. Correct. Scallops. So I have literally stood there with paper towel, dabbing these down to try and get the moisture out. So lots of onion here, and that's going to go with the celery. This is the little fun part of the scallop pie. So if you bite into that Salamanca Market scallop pie, this is the signature, the so curry powder. It's about a teaspoon, so you don't want to overpower you it. You do not. You just want to have that lovely flavour in there. Yes, so normally I like to be really heavy-handed, Richo, but with this I have to just hold back and put a little bit of curry powder in. You save the heavy-handed stuff for me. I do. Let's let this soften and then we'll add more veggies. Gotcha. Beautiful, Richo. Can you smell that curry powder? Oh, I can. Coming through? Beautiful. Could you put all the veggies in? So I this is when we you. start adding all the rainbows. Straight Look at in. that. Finally, I had a Richo at home in the kitchen to do that. Wonderful. And peas go in too, Richo. OK, peas straight in there. Yes, thank you. Nice. So I've just used frozen peas that have been thawed. OK. Go for it. A little dollop of cream, so how more, much? A little bit more, a little bit more. Yep. Beautiful. OK, perfect. Is that more than you thought? That's the perfect amount. So, Richo, whilst this is just gently simmering down so the veggies okay. soften even more and all those flavours melt through, we're going to work on the pie topping. I've got you. So I'm using some phyllo and I love this stuff because it's really easy to work with and I think people think phyllo pastry too hard is what I used to think. But this stuff's really easy and I'm going to use it in a slightly different way. OK. By scrunching it on top so it's going to be crispy, beautiful, light on the topping. There's no pastry at the bottom so it's all pie filling and then this crunchy beautifulness. So I'll make up a few layers so go we're ready it. to yes, scrunch perfect. them. Go so uh, once the pie mix is done, we'll be ready Wonderful. to go. Wonderful. Look at this, Richo. It smells fantastic. It does. That curry powder, let me tell you, it is the thing that brings this together. The bee's knees, I would it say. It is the bee's knees. So I'm putting the scallops through, Richo, the mixture, but I'm not actually going to cook them because the time in the oven will be enough. Yep. So you're hot-loading the scallops. Normally you would let it cool down and load it up, but we're just going for it. We're so going for it. I just call it hot-loading. We're getting it going. We're, uh, we're getting them. excited. So I'm going to put this beautiful filling and then you're going to follow behind me, please, with that okay. phyllo. All right. Look at these veggies. So the little phyllo pastry top goes straight on there. Nice and thin, two layers brushed with olive oil. I like that. I like that. So I like quite a light pie topping. Nice. And it just makes it slightly 
healthier, you're reducing your pastry content, but this is well, really light, fluffy stuff and it's easy to use. It's all veggies, isn't it? So it that's, is. that's what it's about. Look so at that. Pop that on there, a little bit of celery on the side there, get rid of that. Beautiful. This last one on there. Look at that. Now you've got the oven preheated already, haven't you? I do. That's only going to go in for about 10 to 12 minutes, Richo, because the scallops won't take long and then we can dig in. I can't wait for this one. take on the salamanca pie, Richo. It smells amazing. It and does. I love it. It's still a pie because it's got pastry on it, but not a pie as we know it. So this I know. is an interesting way of doing it. Can I just sort of lift that up? Because I want to get, you know, a yes. little bit of the uh, the pastry, but I want to kind of show everyone what it looks like on the inside. When you make a pie, sometimes you worry about being really sort of wet and mm. lots of liquid in there. I'm loving that pie. It's got all the best stuff in there. The juices of the scallops and the vegetables the and the curry. I've gone straight for the scallops. You have, I? you have. So look, if you're having this at Salamanca Market, you're gonna get a, a normal looking pie, but this is my take on it. A bit less pastry, beautiful fluffy filo on top, curry powders in there, lots of veggies. That scallop is cooked to perfection. It is really, really good. I love the flavour of the veggies. They haven't been overpowered by anything in there, and I think the cream sort of smooths it nicely, beautiful. Basically, he's saying it's a winner. Mm.